So I have a new favorite DJ bag when I'm traveling out of town for gigs. Let's talk about it. This is the DJ Bag Urban Backpack. Now DJ Bag was nice enough to send me one of these bags to review, but I can assure you I was not paid for this review, nor do they get a chance to look over this review or have any say on what I have to say about this bag. Now let's start by going over the basics of this backpack. So first of all, it's a pretty decent size. I mean, it's not the smallest bag in the world, but it's not the biggest either. And this is pretty on par for a lot of the other DJ bags you see on the market, but I will say they make great use of the space. So let's start off with what I think is the most important part about this bag and why this has become my go-to when I go to travel. So let's start by opening the main compartment of this bag. Now usually when you open a main compartment of a DJ bag, you have some space, but really not that much space. And the biggest surprise of this bag is the fact that you can fit a full 10 inch mixer inside this bag. Now, this is a Native Instruments Z2, and they also say that it can fit a Pioneer S9 as well as some smaller controllers. So this can really fit and lower the amount of gear that you need to take as far as bags and cases if you're doing a lot of mobiles. You can actually fit your mixer in here and it'll be safe on your back instead of having to carry it in a bigger hard case. But when I'm traveling, I'm not gonna be carrying a mixer in this bag. But what I do like this compartment for is to carry a weekend's worth of clothes. If you look at this, this is actually a pretty good size and I can fit a couple pairs of pants, all of my undergarments, couple shirts, and have all the clothes that I would need for maybe two to three days out on a gig, which is usually the max that you know I go for a weekend. And this can all fit in this bag so I don't have to pay for carry-on charges because you know a lot of airlines are now charging for carry-on bags, I can carry it all in one bag, which makes it great. Now the other great thing about this compartment is, say you made it to the hotel that you're staying at for your gigs, once you take all of the clothes out, or a mixer if you're taking that, this bag slims down a lot. And if you look at it now, the profile of it is really small and makes it a lot more manageable to take to the gig, to you know, take into the DJ booth. It's a lot easier and a lot smaller than a lot of other DJ bags on the market. And even though this bag is slimmed down when it's like this, it still carries pretty much everything I would need to DJ with. So let's go ahead and open the front pocket right here. Here I have my laptop that's secured in its own laptop sleeve in the bag. There's room to fit some 12 inch vinyl, which is really nice if you're still DJing on vinyl. And then if we go back to that main compartment, right here, we have a lot of storage. So let me open this up a little bit more. So we have four pockets right here, two netted, two behind them. And in this, I carry a case for my USB sticks if I'm DJing on record box on CDJs or Serato time code. Here I have some USB cables, more USB cables. This is basically my HID setup when I'm using Serato. Here we have another zippered compartment, which is great. A uh, nice place to put, you know, something small, maybe even a, a MacBook charger. And then once we get to the back of the bag, we have a lot more as well. So right here, we have another compartment that opens up and there's four more netted pockets right here inside. And here I have uh, a battery pack to charge my phone at a gig so I never run out of juice. Some RCA cables, and those are for my phase, as well as the USB cable for my phase. And then here at the bottom, and this pocket goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, so you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I have my headphones, and then right here, I have one more pocket on the back from, that I can access from the side. In here, I have my, uh, my laptop charger. And then what's really nice is that I have another compartment that's kind of hidden right here. And this, I have an iPhone charger with a little power brick, some pins, oh, business cards, and even a USB-C adapter just in case I might need one of those. And then what's also cool is that we also have another hidden compartment right here on the strap 
and this is the perfect place for me to keep my um, earplugs, my attenuators, which I always use. DJs, protect your hearing. And then also, what's great is that we have a pass-through to put on uh, a carry-on if you're using a carry-on, but behind that we have another hidden pocket right here, and this is great for stashing documents, stuff like your passport, things like that, things that you might need access to quickly, but you know, it's in a safe place. You can put your wallet in here while you're traveling around with this bag, and it's gonna be safe because it's on your back. And this bag just has so much as far as organization is concerned and pockets and just overall the form factor is really great. Another great thing I like about this is the material used on this bag. It's not your normal nylon material that you'd find on uh, most DJ backpacks. It's this kind of rubberized material so this is gonna be a little bit more water resistant as well as the zippers have like this sort of seal around the edges of them so your gear is less likely to get wet if you get caught in you know a light rain um, but if it's storming, you probably still want to hide inside. You don't want to risk damaging any of that. But still on the back, it's padded, it's nice. You know, the straps, I would say, could use a little bit more padding. Um, they're not the thickest straps in the world, but they're still pretty comfortable. And overall, I really dig this bag. The one downside that I would say, and one thing I wish this bag would have, is right here on this front zip. <clears throat> I wish there was slots for vinyl right here instead of just being plain on the back. Yes, you can still fit, you know, a 12 inch sleeve so you can fit two pieces of Serato vinyl and your slip mats, no problem, but you should have just put uh, some type of compartment for vinyl in here. One other complaint I have about this bag is the fact that, you know, it's kind of flimsy at the bottom. It's not that, you know, structured like you would find in other bags, but I guess it's made, you know, it's okay because it does slim down instead of having to be this, this size all the way throughout, even if it's not all the way full. So it's a plus or minus, uh, just something that I wish, you know, maybe they could have added. Another thing also too with the bottom is, I wish they would have added feet or just something a little bit stronger than just this material at the bottom because we're putting our bags down, you know, dropping them, not dropping them, but I mean, just putting them on the ground all the time. And this is probably the first part of the bag that goes, if not the straps, is that I'm not sure how, you know, um, tough this material is gonna be, but overall, I think it's a pretty decent material. I like the fact that this, it has this coating. Makes me think that, you know, this bag is gonna last a little bit longer than just your regular ballistic mesh bag. Um, oh, also, we have another hidden pocket right here on the side. You can put a water bottle here, or, you know, stash some other things in here, maybe snacks. Who knows? And then also on this side, this right here is really cool. So this is a USB pass-through. So say I had this power bank right here. If I open up this bag, I can actually plug this power bank in here, run it with the cable, and then I could just plug in uh, my power cable to my iPhone from here without having to dig in my bag and get to this power bank. I always have access to it right away. And that pocket is kind of hidden as well. So if you don't want to use it, you don't have any wires dangling at the bottom. Um, but if you do want to use it, it's easily accessible as well. Now, overall, I love this bag for travel. This is going to be my go-to bag as far as if I'm going out of town. But, you know, the size still kind of, I'm not 100% about it. Uh, I'm. I'm probably gonna use a different bag if I'm just doing some gigs in town, if I'm doing a quick gig and I don't need everything. Um, I'd probably take a smaller bag, probably something like this. This is a, a Jetpack Slim. It's a little bit smaller bag. It doesn't you know, have as much room as the DJ Bag Urban Backpack, but it still carries everything. Uh, but definitely, if I'm going out of town, this is now gonna be my go-to bag and I'm really happy with it. Besides those few things, such as like having feet on the bottom or a tougher material and uh, having a little bit thicker straps, I'm really happy about it. So if you've been looking for a DJ bag that could either fit some clothes if you're going out of town or fit a 10 inch mixer, which not a lot of DJ bags do nowadays, definitely check out the DJ Bag Urban Backpack. Now, if you're interested in picking up one of these bags, I've left an affiliate link down in the description below for Amazon. It doesn't cost you any extra and it helps out the channel quite a bit. And also, 
If you found this review useful, please go ahead and give this video a like and go ahead and click right here to watch more DJ related content and click right here to subscribe to this channel. See you guys in the next one.